<laughs> I mean, you're, I, I knew you were big, but you are so much bigger in real life than I imagined. <laughs> yeah, I wore my high heels today. That's oh, what. you didn't. Yeah. I don't mean just tall. I mean, like, look at what baseball players used to look like. That's Carl Yastrzemski. He's yeah. one of the greatest players of all time. He looks like he should be mowing your lawn. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, look at him. Well, congratulations on being so big. Oh, and... thank you, sir. So will you watch the World Series? Are you, are you interested in it if you're not in it? I'll pop in. I'll see the highlights. Gotcha. I, I won't watch start to finish, but uh, I, I like to see um, what's going on and, and kind of download and, and be prepared. You grew up here in Southern California, here in L.A. Mm -hmm. Were you a Dodgers or Angels fan? Dodgers, for sure. Dodgers Angels. fan. Dodgers. So, uh, do you have? Are you rooting for them, or now that you're a player, do you put that aside? Uh, I'm in a crossroads because uh, growing up, you always wanted them to win, and then you know you have Houston with well, what happened to that city too. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, yeah. It'd be great for them to win. So, um, I'm just sit back and enjoy the show. Really. I got you. Now, a guy like um, Clayton Kershaw, who's pitching for the Dodgers tonight, who's a great pitcher, probably will be the greatest pitcher of this generation. I looked up your stats against him today because I was thinking about this. Um, you are uh, 5 for 18, 278 against him, two home runs, two doubles, five strikeouts. Do you get, are you more focused when you're facing a guy like Clayton Kershaw or is it the same for every pitcher? Uh, you always want to get the main guys for sure because uh, they're, they're always going to be on top of their game, so that, that makes you step up as well. Um, and if we can get them out of the game early, you know, we're always going to have a better chance to win. But What does it feel like to hit a, a towering home run of that magnitude, like that home run we saw in the clip? It, it's really the, the harder and farther, you know, as hard as I hit them, you, it feels like a cloud, you know, you, you feel like a feather. The, the ones that hurt are the, the ones that are down on the hands well. and... Yeah. And, uh, you know, your hands are ringing all the way up your arms. But when you, when you get a really good one, it's, it's like you got to just sit back and watch it go. You don't there's even no feel real, it. There's no real contact, to be honest. You hit, how many <laughs> home runs did you hit in the month of August? Uh, I think I hit 18. I think you hit 19, actually. 19? Yeah, 19 home runs. You got it. You got it. 18 home runs. You're right. <laughs> 18 home runs in one month. Is that, do you get superstitious when you're on a tear like that? Uh, th that was unreal. I, I I had to do everything the same. I had to make sure, like, okay, if I if I didn't hit one in two days, and you know, erase what I'm doing and do something else. But if I if I kept on a little flow, I was doing exactly the same thing. Um, if that's wearing the same underwear, wearing the same socks, really? I was in there. Do you wash everything, or does it just it does that take the it, magic it, away? It, it just depends, you know. <laughs> you, you never know. <laughs> on the climate of the city you're yeah, playing. Yeah, climate. In. Um, I see. A few other things. <laughs> yeah, because it can get pretty balmy down there in Miami. It does. It does. Luckily, we play inside, so that, that helps. And that's true, yeah. yeah. All right, okay. So you hit 59 home runs for the season, which is unbelievable. Does it kill you that you didn't get that 60th home run? Oh, man. The, I, I wanted it, but uh, I wanted to make sure that I didn't, um, you know, think of it as... Not a failure, but everyone's like 60s, everything, 60s, everything, 59s, like... Right, but it is uh, a failure in a it, way. It, it is, you know? Yeah. So, so, at the end of the day, I, I failed this year, you know? <laughs> yeah, no, 59 home runs is an unbelievable number of home runs. Do you mm -hmm. feel like you can hit more home runs than that? Uh, I think so. Yeah. I think so. So you have new ownership now in Miami. Uh, Derek Cheater's one of the owners of the team. Mm -hmm. And there's, uh, there are a lot of rumors that they're going to rebuild. They're going to just kind of knock everything down and start over again and maybe send you to another team. It, does, is, does that seem crazy to you? It does seem crazy because uh, that's all I've known my, my yeah. whole career. Um, you know. I mean, how many home runs do you have to hit <laughs> for this team to want you to stay around? Right. Have you spoken? Have you had meetings with them and expressed this? Uh, we're going to get together after the World Series. Uh, every, everything stays but quiet until then. You've had no um, meetings with the new ownership? No meetings. I've had, wow. Uh... That is just <laughs> unbelievable to me. You would look so good in a Mets uniform. You know that? Mets. <laughs> Uh, I like oh. beating up on the Mets. You I like beating up? No, Mets side. would not be someplace you want to go? Oh, let's go through the teams and get your head reaction. <laughs> well, okay. what about the Dodgers? I think we'd like to have you back home here in Southern California. Oh, uh, uh, we got it. Okay. Um, you know, I, I grew up a Dodger fan, so uh, if, if that's where they want to go, if you... I saw a story that the Red Sox are very, very adamant about getting you, and that if you did play for them, 
you would potentially play, you'd be the designated hitter. Is that something that would interest you, being yeah. a designated hitter? Uh, yeah, I could be DH. Would that, that would fine. you rather play in the outfield every day, or would you rather be DH? Uh, I think the day games, we can be DH, you know. I see. Wake up early, kick back, make sure, just focus on hitting. You like to around. mix it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. You signed a 13-year, $325 million contract. It's the biggest contract in all of sports, not baseball, in all of sports. When you signed that contract, did a lot of people come with ideas on how they could help you spend your money? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, you have um, all the greatest business ideas ever. Oh, um, really? They'll call you up and... Uh, all, all we need is um, 200 grand. You'll get 2% uh, of the company, <laughs> and we'll, we'll need it by next week. So let us know if you're, you're ready. You and know? do you give in to any of that stuff? Uh, it depends how it depends how it looks, but usually, usually not. If oh. it's a cousin, will you be more or less inclined to uh -huh. give that money? Um, the, I'll be a little more lenient with them. Ooh, a little more lenient. They, with they, they have the worst ideas, though. So <laughs> yes, that's, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> The cousins always have the yeah, worst ideas, yes. Sure. My cousin Sal is really evidence of that. Well, yeah. thanks for coming. It's great to have you here. I hope it's wherever you go, I hope it's here. Yeah. <laughs> John Carlos Stanton, everybody. World Series Game 2 tomorrow night on Fox. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you like that, click the subscribe button below, and good things will happen forever.